this is remarkable. It's remarkable what Aaron has done in uh, bringing us all together with his tireless work over uh, um, the past several months. It's remarkable that you're all here, here at our, na our state's capital, not our nation's capital, our state's capital. Would that we could do it at our nation's capital. Remarkable that we stand up for these principles that are so essential for a prosperous country, for a healthy culture. And I'd say it's remarkable for one other reason as well. It's remarkable that we have to. I've spent uh, about a dozen years as a legislator here in Colorado. And through those years, I've watched as these values for traditional marriage, for life, for parental authority, for religious liberty itself have degraded, have been eroded. We seem to be in a constant value just to preserve the values that we all understand to be core values to a healthy and a prosperous land. It's remarkable that we have to do what we do here today. But I would state as well, it's essential, absolutely essential. We cannot turn our backs on that which God has established as the basic values of life just because the culture is rushing off in a different direction. No, it's absolutely essential that we do what we can to preserve those values. And I'm certain that if you're here today as a leader of your uh, congregation or, or uh, religious organization, that you do commit yourself to that. But I urge you to go the extra mile to spend your efforts in ensuring that everyone you come into contact with understands how vitally important it is that we hold fast to those principles. Indeed, I, I appreciate calling it the four pillars because it is those indispensable supports that are so necessary for not just ourselves, but for our families and for future generations. This is so core to what I have committed myself to as a legislator. Indeed, I tell people, I told people when I first ran and I continue to say, I run because I have three kids. As a father, I have a responsibility to see that they have the very best opportunities possible. And that goes beyond my front door. It goes to the door of the capital of our state because those values are under assault. We must stand firm for those four pillars of a healthy, prosperous land. Indeed, I, I thank you for allowing me to speak for a few moments on this remarkable day. And may it be remarkable not that we just took a moment out of our lives, but that we recommitted ourselves to these values. May it be a remarkable beginning. Thank you. Thank you very much.